Hi, this is Marquis Crew, and I'm joined by my friend Esther. Esther, would you like to say hi? Great response. Uh, this morning I saw this post that I've got on my screen. Hi all, I've got a date column. The date type is a string, which has multiple date formats, more than 10. I want to convert all of them to an Altric standard date format. Uh, what will be the most efficient way to achieve this? Um, one would be to let everybody know who's giving you dates. This is the format that I want you to give me dates in. Uh, that would be the most efficient way. Uh, but that, <laughs> that not being the case, um, I don't know what your 10 formats are. Uh, maybe my 10 and your 10 aren't the same but I'm going to at least talk this through with Esther and try to come up with an approach for you. Fair enough? Okay, well, I've got a workflow here that has a macro that I pulled off of the uh, uh, gallery, uh, gallery.altrix.com, and it's a, uh, it's a date macro that actually I wrote uh, a couple of years ago, it's called a date format checker. And what I wanted to be able to do is be able to get an incoming date field. And let's say that's 23-OCT-2019 and be able to figure out what is the official format of that date. And so here I just need to be able to select that's my date field that I want to check and hopefully this tells me oh if I want to parse that it's date time parse field one whatever field one is for your data uh, and then here's the actual instructions to be able to go and convert that if I were to go and use this in a uh, formula tool so I'm actually hopefully going to be able to just do a copy there, put a formula here, and say this is now real date. And I'll change that to a date. Bless you. And I'm just going to paste that formula in there and run with it up. Uh, when I pasted that, oh, uh, it's field one, that's why, because it's, you've got to actually change it to the incoming data field, so the date field. And you can see it's going to work, by the way, 2019, 10, 23, it'll come out perfectly. So if you were to use a tool like this in conjunction with your data, that might help. But what if the date that you were looking at was 04-07-2020? Esther, what would that date be for you? Yeah, you don't know. It's ambiguous. So if I were to go and put in these dates into this date field, you would see what's coming out is um, by, by your eye. I just deleted that formula tool because I've now changed the format. I don't want you to think that's a problem for me. Now that you see three records, can you tell me what date the first one actually is? So I'm going to hit run on that date calculator and it's got it month, day, year. It says 100% of them are that format. So if you, if you have conflicting 
Sometimes it means July 4th and sometimes it means April 7th. If that's what you've got going on in your data, I'm never going to be able to help you to be able to tell you is 1-2-2020 January 2nd or February 1st. I, I, I just won't be able to guess it for you. But the approach that I put into this macro, I think would be useful for you to be able to understand. And now you could potentially figure this stuff out yourself. And what I did in building this macro was I allowed for some incoming data to come and be present. And by the way, I can put in that um, 10-23-2018 and into this as well. And this macro is going to run and what it's going to do is it's going to essentially skip any empty dates and then it's only going to analyze the first hundred thousand records. So if you give me a million records or 10 million records, I'm just, if I don't get it in the first hundred thousand records, I'm not going to get it. And what I did was I wrote a formula that was pretty long, but what I did was, and this is what I think you should do for your 10 formats. I wrote a variable out as each potential match. So what I did was I said, here, I've got an output column called month, day, year. And what it does is it does a regex expression that says read field one. And if you get the numbers one through nine or a zero, followed by one through nine or a one or a zero through two followed by a non word character. So that dash could actually be an asterisk. It doesn't really matter. It's just something that isn't a number or a letter. Um, what I did was I wrote an expression for each of these. So months only are the values of basically one through 12, right? Esther, but but you could you could get one nine wouldn't be a month. So what I did was I wrote an expression that would look for things that are actually the numbers. And it doesn't have to be a regex expression. You could have said something like if the you know, if the first two bytes are zero dash or or one two or one one you could have written it without a regular expression the regular expression is just what i used and what i did was i came up with boolean logic about which potential formats are true for it and so in this 10 23 uh 2018 it could be month day year and that's the only one that it's true for right and so i'm able to go and figure that out so if i were to go and put in a date like we had before of 04-07-2020 and run then when i come out of this expression this last row, it could be month, day, year, it could be day, month, year. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to go through all the data and I'm going to figure out how many times which one of these wins as far as being a good format. And ultimately, what I decided to do in the macro was to let there be one champion. And so when I'm taking a look at these data fields here, if I were to put in uh, October 23rd, 1900 and run, I would know that 75% of the time I can get agreement on this one format. Ideally, you'd get 100% agreement, but essentially, 
I think what you're going to have to do is split your data up into stuff that's easy to figure out and stuff that isn't so easy to figure out and come up with your different formats. Uh, you could use a tool like this date format checker. That's something I built it to be able to teach people how to build out these date time parses. Um, that's kind of what I would do. Uh, any suggestions from you? Yeah. Yep. You know what, when you said that, number one, yes, agree with you completely, except January, sec uh, January 2nd and February 1st are in the same court. <laughs> but, <laughs> but if the source of the data, if you have 10 data sources rather than 10 people, or maybe it's 10 people, if, if, if I know that by the source of the data, this comes out of SAP, so it looks like this. This comes out of Oracle, it looks like this. This comes out of Excel, it looks like this. If I know that, that might be an easier way for me to pick the date formatting tools. And by the way, then, although it's not my favorite tool, you could just use the date time tool and take the data that's coming out of that source and use this tool to change the string to a date and pick one of the date formats for it. Uh, so uh, as far as your question goes, um, we're going to post this response into the uh, challenge that you've got here for date format change. Uh, and if this does help you, then uh, you can mark it as a solution. Um, you can also give kudos to Esther, wherever she is in community, for joining me on this call and giving me some other ideas to give to you. Thank you. Okay, good idea. And then you could you could monitor this date format change post, and maybe you could be the first to get us all on it, Esther. <laughs>